Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, a lot of people commented on the outgassing balloon yesterday, and so I'm asking for help if people want to help me try to discover if this is a new chemical aerosol delivery method. Look in the lower left corner. This is the footage from yesterday. Balloon comes in and it outgasses right there against the wind. The wind is coming from the west, pushing that set of what appears to be party balloons to the west. Now, uh, I'll give you a couple shots of this to refresh your memory. Here's the thing. Yesterday, we saw this, and then we saw a single, what is easily identifiable as a party balloon, go straight up, being pushed to the west. But this, this object is going west and slightly up. The party balloon is going nearly straight up, though being pushed to the west. And I'm asking, is this a new chemical aerosol delivery method? Because they did, in fact, start spraying chemtrails full on yesterday. There's the outgassing. The reason I think this is interesting is because I have footage from December 29th of 2014 where a very similar thing happened. Chemtrails were being sprayed for the first time in a long time and we filmed an orb that made a 90 degree turn, went into the wind towards chemtrails. <clears throat> a short while later, we filmed a single balloon that is clearly identifiable as a balloon and I will show you that footage to get started. So, you know, if, if you're interested in trying to help me do what I do, the main problem here is, is that many reported they could see this balloon outgassing in other places. I can't see it on my monitor. Um, the other problem is, is when I got it on my 62, here's the single balloon that may be a decoy that's clearly a party balloon. But when I got it on my 62-inch monitor, monitor, it does look like it outgasses twice. Uh, as it comes into frame, but when I get it in the editor, I just cannot see it. Part of the deal here is there's a lot of different monitors. You know, Macintosh has better gamma and blacks. Um, so if people can, actually, there's the single balloon, and I'll do a zoom on it. If people can watch the footage at the end where I give the full telephoto visual spectrum of the balloon that outgassed and the full telescope full spectrum footage, if people can find where they think it is outgassing and give me the timestamp, I will then go in and edit those timestamps. Anyhow, that is clearly a party balloon, and I will show you in a second. This happened before with an orb, and a balloon colored the same as the orb, and it was clear that we were looking at an orb that went into the wind at a 90 degree angle, turning and towards chemtrails, and a balloon that fell and then popped, but it was clearly a balloon, and I'll show you that footage here next just to demonstrate We've seen this before. So here comes the footage, and if you want to go back and look at the original clip, there it is. There's the title on top and the timestamp from December 29, 2014, uploaded at 2.52 p.m. And here comes the footage, and I'll walk you through the similarities. <clears throat> so here we go. So this is the balloon that we filmed, and there it is popping and falling. Okay, now this happened shortly after we filmed the orb that I'm going to show you here in a minute. The orb came down across the moon, as did this balloon, same thing that just happened the other day. And uh, the orb makes a 90 degree turn into the wind headed towards chemtrails that are starting up for the first time in a number of days. So load a new clip here. Oh, I'm sorry, we still have the falling balloon. Give me a second. I'm going to run them side by side. You'll have to go back to the original clip to see the orb turn 90 degrees into the wind and see the differentiation between the balloon and the orb demonstrating they are, in fact, a balloon and an orb. So here we go. The balloon will come in at the upper left. The orb is center screen. Now I'm going to follow the orb right about here. There it goes. It no, as soon as it clears the moon, it will turn flat to the screen and head to the right. And as always, it is heading to the west, and we get weather out of the west. Here's the balloon. Again, you got to go back and look at the original footage. But what I did is I pulled some frames out to prove that this is a balloon, and maybe not just any, any old balloon, and it does, in fact, pop. Here's what the individual's frames looked like to demonstrate that it was a balloon with like little diamond reflectors of some sort hanging on the tether. Whole point here is, is we filmed an orb coming across the moon and then this very similar looking balloon and that is exactly what happened with the outgassing balloon. And there's just a graphic I made to try to demonstrate what the balloon that actually fell and popped looks like. Now coming back to what I just filmed the other day. First I'm going to run the entire 
telephoto and visual, what our eyes see, spectrum. Now right here as it comes in, many people with better monitors than I have are claiming they see it out gas. It's going to come in at the lower right. Give it a second here. It's There it is. They claim in this general vicinity that they can see it out gas twice. I could see this on the 62 inch monitor once, um, but we had a number of people comment that they could see it out gas more than once. So this is the full visual, what your eyes see, spectrum with the telephoto. This will be followed by the full telescope footage in full spectrum which is the footage you saw in the beginning where we can see the outgassing as it first comes into frame. So here's the offer. You know, so many people are interested in this kind of work and here's the tedious part. If you're interested in trying to help me determine whether we're looking at a new aerosol chemical delivery system with this balloon or possible party balloon, whatever we're looking at here, I think it is very suspicious that we saw a decoy balloon, uh, same color pretty much, and that the outgassing we are seeing is going against the wind and happening more than once, yet we see no balloon deflate. Um, so it's all very suspicious. In light of yesterday, they full on started chemtrailing again when all this was occurring. Um, so if you want to help out, watch the four minutes of telephoto visual footage, see if you can detect outgassing, write down the timestamp from this clip and then watch the following telescope footage in full spectrum. If you can detect outgassing, write down the timestamp and then comment. And uh, then what I'll do is go into this clip and re-edit out those areas and see if I can do manipulation to prove that we are in fact seeing outgassing. And by the way, the people who reported the outgassing as this object comes into frame in this footage um, also stated that it looked like it was going against the wind. To be clear, the right side of the frame is to the west or where the sun sets. The wind is pushing this object to the left of frame or to the east. And so any outgassing that comes to the right is pushing against the prevailing breeze. But I figured I would take the time to go through all this editing just because the similarity is so, you know, spot on. I see an orb fall across the moon, turn into the wind, head towards chemtrails, then I see a balloon fall in front of the moon that is the exact same color and size and then blow up and fall to earth. I'm filming this thing, I film three balloons, see it out gas when I get into the editor and that was followed by an identically colored party balloon going up across the moon almost straight up but still being pushed to the west. So let's, let's pull this apart, see if we can determine whether there's any chance that this is some kind of bizarre chemical aerosol delivery method that they are using. Um, and I will also state for the record, we have seen a lot less blatant chemtrailing. We're still getting chemtrailed, but it is getting increasingly hard to, you know, just see the planes blatantly, you know, a few thousand feet up nailing us. Uh, we do see a lot of high altitude stuff all the time. So there it is. I'm going to let this footage run out. The telephoto footage is almost done here. And then the full telescope in full spectrum will run. There it is. Want to help? Look for outgassing and send me the timestamp if you can see it. So I'm going to quit talking and just let this run. Cheers.